Okay, okay, we are back with Jisoo Flower. I think this is her first single, right? Solo, first solo song. Uh, congratulations on your solo debut. I remember seeing a picture on, was it Twitter or Instagram? Kid Cudi, my all-time favorite artist. He took a picture with Jenny and then the whole group, all of Blackpink. He, they had a picture together and I was so hyped. I thought it was the coolest fucking thing ever. I don't know if they'll collab. I mean, it'd be sick, but... You know, people taking pictures together doesn't always mean a collab. Uh, anyways, uh, Flower, let's check it out. I love the snapping. Chapter two. Dude, the song has a low key vibe. I was going to say that originally from the beat at the start, but the chorus. It just it just confirms my you know my feeling that it's low key and it's really cool though because usually when you it just sounds like a big drop's gonna happen or something's gonna step it up but instead it takes it like a step it still steps up but in a different direction and a direction I think works. The chopped vocal pitched up I love that. So classy. Oh, that looks cool. It's like the only store that's, that's, it's kind of out of place, isn't it? Is this a set? Is this whole little city a set? Or did they just actually like cut off the roads to film this? Because this building looks out of place. The yellow building, it looks out of place. It's fake. <laughs> it's a set. The harmonies in the back there. I like the dance that goes with it. The dance that goes with it, it's it's accurate. That's cool. Wow. Wait, does that necklace thing have to do with something? Is that lore? Is that part of the lore? <clears throat> hmm. That was really cool. Oh, wait, it could be like Flower because it's the blooming of her solo debut. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if that's what that title has to do. Uh, you know, the meaning behind the title, maybe. Dude, all the comments are like different languages. I Promotion activities for her solo. I get the feeling the song is made to bring out the Korean element of K-pop of the world. It's not made to sound American mainstream music at all. Um... 
with the I kind of see the Korean uh, aspect of it in terms of sound selection, but to say that I you know what they're kind of fair. They're not going for like an American mainstream song, but it's still very well produced. It doesn't need to be an American mainstream song to be a great song, uh, and I think they did it really well with this one. The, I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone here's heard Madison Beer showed me, showed me how you do. Ooh, I fell in love with you. It kind of reminds me of that. This low key kind of like coolness to it. The beat has that. The beat has that. Um, and Jisoo has a really nice voice, dude. She she did a great job with the the vocals all around. A really good song. Keep or delete. Keep. Uh, what will I rate this one? Um. I think I think it's like a solid 8.5. I think it's like a solid 8.5. It's pretty dang good. It's pretty dang good, but I'm not enamored by it. You know what I mean? I'm not like, oh, I need to listen to this again. I'm not I'm not addicted to it. I'm not addicted to it. But I still think it's a really good song. So for me, man, 8.5. Uh cool song for a debut, uh solo debut. Really cool.